means let's balance the net ionic equation. The given equation is permanganate ion reacts with bromide ion to form manganese dioxide and bromate ion. Let's balance this equation by oxidation number method. In the oxidation number method, First of all, we need to assign the oxidation numbers of all the atoms present in the equation. Let's assign the oxidation number for manganese first and manganate and permanganate ion. That is, manganese, we can assume the oxidation number X. Four oxygen atoms are there. Each oxygen atom, its oxidation number minus two. That is equal to the sum of the oxidation numbers of the atoms present in the polyatomic ion is equal to its charge. So permanganate ion charge is minus one. So that we have written. If we simplify x. 4 times minus 2 becomes minus 8 is equal to minus 1. That is, x is equal to 8 minus 1, that's equal to plus 7. So the oxidation number of manganese is plus 7. That we can write it here. Oxidation number of oxygen in all the atoms, in all the uh, species, it is minus 2. So here also it is minus 2. Here also the oxygen oxidation number is minus 2. So manganese we have calculated for permanganate ion. The next one, bromide ion. It's a monoatomic ion. For the monoatomic ion, the oxidation number is equal to its charge. Bromide ion charge is minus 1. Therefore, the oxidation number of bromide ion is minus 1. Manganese dioxide. In manganese dioxide, the oxidation number of manganese we need to calculate. We can assume the oxidation number of manganese as the x plus 2 times minus 2 because 2 oxygen atoms are there. That is equal to manganese dioxide is not a polyatomic ion. It's a neutral compound. In the neutral compound, the sum of the oxidation numbers of, an, of the atoms present in the neutral compound is equal to zero. So if we simplify x minus 4 is equal to zero. That is x is equal to plus 4. So the mag the oxidation number of manganese in manganese dioxide is plus 4. The next one we need to calculate the oxidation number of bromine in bromate ion. Bromine oxidation number we can assume as X. Three oxygen atoms are there. So three times minus two. Its charge is minus one. It's a polyatomic ion. So sum of the oxidation numbers of the atoms present in the polyatomic ion is equal to its charge that is minus 1. If we simplify x minus 6 is equal to minus 1. That is x is equal to 6 minus 1 that is plus 5. So the oxidation number of bromine in bromate ion is plus 5. Now we have calculated the oxidation numbers of all the atoms present in the equation. Now let's check whether the, now we can check 
the decrease in oxidation number as well as the increase in oxidation number. In the case of manganese, we need to check the oxidation numbers of manganese and bromine. In the case of manganese, the oxidation number changes from plus 7 to plus 4. In the case of bromide ion, the oxidation number changes from minus 1 to plus 5. That is the oxidation number of manganese changes from plus 7 to plus 4 and bromide ion minus 1 to plus 5. That is the oxidation number of manganese there is a decrease in oxidation number. Where in the case of bromide ion, there is an increase in oxidation number. In the case of manganese, decrease in oxidation number. In the case of bromide, there is an increase in oxidation number. For manganese, the decrease in oxidation number is from plus 7, it decreases to plus 4. So, there is a decrease in oxidation number of plus 3. In the case of bromine, the, the oxidation number has decreased from minus 1 to plus 5. Sorry, the oxidation number of bromine increases, increases from minus 1 to plus 5. So, here the increase is from minus 1 to plus 5 that is plus 6 times. Now when we check the increase and decrease in oxidation number, they are the multiples of 3. Therefore, we can simplify further. So when we simplify, what will be that? This becomes 1 time, this becomes 2 times. So now, Using the decrease in oxidation number and increase in oxidation number, we need to multiply the manganese and bromine on the right hand side of the chemical equation. A after that, we need to balance at the left hand side. So, bromine has to be multiplied by one time and manganese has to be multiplied by uh, Manganese has to be multiplied by 2 times on the right hand side. That we can write it the next page. Manganese needs to be multiplied by 2 times. Bromine only 1 time. So we need not write a 1. Now after multiplying this manganese dioxide by 2, the left hand side we need to balance. Left hand side only 1 time manganese is there so therefore we need to multiply this also by two times now we need to check the charges of the equation charges of the ions in the equation the left hand side permanganate ion two times that is its charge is minus one two times therefore minus two in bromide ion, that is minus 1. On the right hand side, manganese dioxide, its oxidation number 0 because it's a neutral compound. Bromide, bromate ion, its oxidation number minus 1. So the right hand side, the charge is minus 1. But the left hand side, the charge is minus 3. And this reaction, it is mentioned, the reaction is carried out in basic medium. So, this reaction takes place in basic medium. 
if the reaction takes place in basic medium while balancing we need to add oh minus ion on the appropriate side oh minus ion on the appropriate side we need to add now right hand side minus 1 and the left hand side minus 3 so the right hand side minus charges two charges are required then only both the side the charges will be equal so the right hand side we need to add that is two OH groups we need to add then only we will get two minus so this OH we can write on the right hand side that is plus two OH minus 2 OH minus. Now when we check the left hand side, there's no hydrogen atoms, but the right hand side two hydrogen atoms are there. So in order to make the hydrogen atoms equal on both the sides of the equation, what we can do, we can add a water molecule to the left hand side. So here a water molecule is added. So when we add the water molecule, now when we check all the atoms on the left hand side as well as the right hand side of the ionic equation is equal. So now the equation is balance. So the balance ionic, net ionic equation is 1 mole of H2O plus 2 moles of permanganate ion plus 1 mole of bromide ion gives 2 moles of manganese dioxide plus 1 mole of bromate ion plus 2 moles of hydroxide ion. Thank you so much for watching.